for easy access to these values in our table, I've copied them and pasted them in our Java code so we can easily access them. So we'll begin with the creation of our hash map, which will store the key as a string and the values as array lists of integers. You can use an array list of doubles if your values have decimal points. But since our values do not have decimal points, we'll use as the integer array list. To create the hash map of this sort, we know the syntax. We simply start with a map constructor. We specify what the key is, which is the student name and that is a string. We specify what the values will be, which is an array list of integers. So we add that array list of integers and we give our hash map a name. What name do we want to give it? Assuming we call it student map and we create it with a new hash map. And we are done. You will realize that the array list is underlined and that is because we have not imported the array list utility. So we click on import and the error is gone. In our case, since we are not using a for loop to get the exam marks for each student, we are going to create unique array list of integers that will store the exam marks of each student. So we just want to create array list of integers to store each student mark. So we are going to create our array list using a shortcut where we create and initialize creation. So we create an array list for the first student who happens to be me. So we create array list of integers. And we give it a name, me array, as a new array list. of integers and we are adding the max during creation so we say arrays dot as list and inside we put the respective max of the student so our student knee has these marks we simply copy them and we paste them inside so we put our semicolon and we are done so we do the same for the rest of the students. We simply copy and paste and we change the names and the values of each array list. So we are creating an array list for Felicity. So we call that Felicity Array and Felicity has these marks. So we call this Felicity Array. And we put the max for felicity. So we do the same for the rest of the students. We simply copy and paste and change the name. So we are dealing with Evelyn Ari. Then we have Samuelis Ari. And we have Bettina. So we just copy their marks and paste them. Evelyn, replace them. Um, Samuelis, replace them. And Bettina, replace them. Now that we have our array list, containing the individual marks, we can simply add them to our hash map called student map. How do we do that? We just simply use the student map.put. So we are going to add content 
to hash map by using the student map and we select the student map and it's saying what is a key the key is the name of the student so the first student we are dealing with is me so we are replacing the key with me so we simply put me and what is supposed to be the value the value is an array list so we simply copy me array and we replace it here Add our semicolon and we are done so again we simply copy this and paste for the rest of the students and we just edit and we would be done so the next person is felicity we add felicity and we change the array name felicity array this is evelyn we add Evelyn and we change the name to Evelyn Harry. And this is Samuel. It's. We add a key, Samuel. It's, and we change the Harry name to Samuel. It's Harry. And the last person is Bettina. We add Bettina and we change the name Bettina Harry. So we are done with the addition. All we need to do is to check to see if the content we've added is actually in the hash map. We can simply print it out to see if the content were really added and how they were added. So we can use the system.out print line with the name of the hash map and it will print the content for us. So our hash map is called student map we select that and this should print for us each key and its corresponding value for each student and his or her corresponding marks so let us see what happens when we run it so when we scroll up we can see Evelyn has the following marks all the way down to me is max. So are they the same max for the students? Let us check. So me has 78, 68, and 82. That's right. And Bettina has 85, 70, 77. That is also right. So we want to print out all the keys for all the students in our class. We just want their names. So what we are going to do is to print out the key set in our hash map. And how do we do that? We simply use the system.out.print line. And name of the hash map dot key set. So student map dot key set. And it should print for us all the keys in our hash map. Likewise, we can print out all the values in our hash map so we can use the system.out.print line and instead of key set we are going to use the values so we simply change that to values and we can now print so to distinguish between the keys and the values we can simply add a line to print out the keys before it does the printing and we can add another line to print values before it does the printing of the values. So let's run it and see if it does what we are asking it to do. So we can see in our student map the keys we have Evelyn, Bettina, Samuelis and all the way to me and their respective marks as the values. There are other things we can do with this our hash map and I would give that as an assignment to the students. So as assignment, you are supposed to write lines of code that for each student the codes will print out 
his or her marks. When it does that, you should also find the average mark for each student. And you should write codes that will update the marks for me from what is previously there to the marks that are given. And we also want to remove Felicity and her marks from the class. So that means we want to remove the key, Felicity, and the marks from the hash map. So I would be marking this assignment in our next class.